G'day guys, how's it going? So I'm going to try and fix the pole on this 12 volt battery. It's been burned out with a bad connection on a 24 volt starter motor. It's been partly melted. There's a bigger hole on that side. And it goes right through to the middle and because the acid's coming out it corrodes the terminal quite badly. And it was a fairly new battery so um, I'm going to try and fix it today with this kit. So it's got the castings here for the poles. What you do is connect this to one terminal and you use these rods to melt the lead and make a new pole. That's the lead there. Not sure how it's going to work but um, yeah, it's definitely worth a try because this battery it's spitting out battery acid and it's going to dry out if I keep using it like that and also because the pole is um, eroded, it's not getting, not getting very good contact. So I'll give the battery a bit of a clean up, get any corrosion off that pole, and we'll see if we can rebuild the pole. I'll take it out of the vehicle because I don't know if it's going to smoke and splatter. First of all, I'll charge it right up, um, just so there's plenty of plenty of juice. So I'm going to wear a face mask uh, just in case it blows up at me and spits acid out. So the poles have the um, negative and positive stamped on them, um, and they're tapered as well. So you want the big end down. Um, battery is fully charged, so it's got the best chance possible of working. Let's see what happens. No idea how this is going to work. Alright, well, it definitely got hot. The thing's fallen apart though. It wasn't in there very well, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if it went deep enough. But I'll let that cool down and scrape the top off and see what it looks like. It gets pretty hot pretty damn quick. That's awesome. No. no, you can see that hasn't, hasn't penetrated enough there. So I'll cut that pole off and uh, try again because I've got to get right down to the base of that. Keep it off there. All right, I've recharged the battery, uh, so we'll try that again.
and it seemed to work a bit better. It gets very hot though, I think next time I'll wear leather gloves. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think that'll be alright. Feels pretty solid. It's not perfect, but I think it's definitely better than it was. We'll charge it up and see how it goes. Well, the, the pole was definitely bigger than it was because I'm having to loosen that battery terminal quite a bit to get it on there. So that's a good sign. More surface area. Pretty solid. The moment of truth. started without any problems so I think it's uh, a success not bad for a first try there's definitely a bit of a technique to, to doing it uh, the first time I tried it just it didn't melt all the way through so I think it's best to cut the actual pole off and start from the base and sort of poke the the rod around as you go to melt it and build your way up and, um, and that doesn't leave any uh, voids. So I think next time I'll, I'll do it better. So now the battery uh, shouldn't leak any battery acid and that should be fine for a few more years. So I got the kit off AliExpress and it was about $40 New Zealand. Uh, I know some people use just the normal welding handpiece and they get the, the rod out of a, a battery. Uh, and you can use that as well, but, but the kit's uh, cheap enough and it comes with everything you need So just thought I'd try it out and it worked quite well I was a bit worried about the battery popping because that That hole was going right through to the inside of the battery, but um, it didn't didn't do anything bad But yeah, always a good good idea to wear uh, a mask and gloves and that So it's definitely worth doing instead of um, chucking a battery out. You can just rebuild those poles Alright guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.